Action. Your question. <laughs> oh, was it my question? Your, well, I thought so. Oh, yeah. okay. You wanted to talk about um, why people invest in themselves, I think. Y yeah, yeah, I do. I very much want to talk about this because I, I'm just going to just sort of just set a little frame before we go into this one. So um, I don't want to name any names, but a member of my family recently asked me what I was doing. I said, why don't why on earth don't you just i can't explain digital marketing to you i struggle um you know why don't you buy the modern wealthy program for 37 dollars immerse yourself in it for a month and then get your money back okay so um then came the comment from this family member that uh they felt that they needed to buy more education in order to make any progress okay yeah. and there was a reluctance there was a resistance and I, and I and i remember when i was considering the coaching programs three years ago there was a lot of resistance i was i was conflicted i wanted to have the coaching because i needed the coaching but at the same time i'd never ever ever spent any money on me I'd bought cars and houses and, you know, stuff, phones and things. Stuff for family, yeah. But I, I just wasn't comfortable with the idea of investing in myself. And yet, in retrospect, I realised it was absolutely essential. So tell me a little bit about your experience with the, with the thinking about that idea of buying um, not just a training, but, a, but, but, but coaching. Mike, please, yeah. and, and okay. your experience. So I think I went through the same experience as your family member. I invested in a, a low-cost introductory program, which opened my eyes. And I remember having going to bed and not being able to sleep. I was so excited about all the opportunity, all the business models that were available online. Um, but I also, I was a little bit arrogant, I guess, but I also needed new skills. Yeah, um, I've been a salesperson all my life, so that sort of helped. I thought I was wrong because online selling stuff online is not about having sales skills. Uh, I learned the hard way, um, but I knew I, I, you know, I wasn't technical. Uh, I knew I was going to need to learn some new skills, and I'm not a very good learner. I'm not highly educated. Uh, didn't get any qualifications at school. Dropped out of college, so that was my biggest fear. Mike, you know, it's, an, it's a training course. You're going to invest some money and you're not going to follow through. You're going to quit. You're a quitter. Yeah. Or you're just not very good at learning. So you can potentially waste your money. And that was funny enough. One of the reasons why I sort of upgraded to the higher levels of pack, higher level packages, not so much the advanced content that was in the, them. It was more to do with the one-to-one -one mentoring, being a held accountable that I couldn't just not show up. There was somebody going to be there to talk to, to challenge me, to make sure I'd done what I said I was going to do. Um, and also, that's the way I learn. You know, if I get stuck, I need to ask a question fairly quickly to get an answer, to keep the momentum going, to keep moving forward. If I don't understand something and there isn't someone to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, to question, then I stop and I, and I, and I quit, like, like I did in my education. Yeah, I didn't get that one-on-one -on -one mentoring in education. It was one to 30. So I quickly invested in group training. And then when I started to make progress in the group training, I realized that where I wanted to be to replace a multiple six-figure income, I potentially needed some one-on-one -on -one training. Yeah, because it's just, I'm not highly educated. It's just the way I learn or don't learn um, and that way the accountability would 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 be rock solid you know the, there would be somebody there every single week talking to me and making sure I did what I said I was going to do and follow through on my commitments so I think that's why I did it um, and also I think the money as well you know even though it costs more to get the one-to-one -one mentoring and the group mentoring if I made that investment I had to get that investment back you know I had to have some level of success to at least recoup my investment and once I've recouped my investment then I'd invested nothing I'd, I'd come away with skills and those skills had earned the money to pay for the investment I'd initially made and that was I think number one goal I think get back the money that I invested in me for once um, and then everything after that would be upside yeah and yeah and, and I felt the same way I mean how how, how am I going to do that how am I going to get my investment back without 
without the help. And I think you came up with a lovely analogy yesterday when we were speaking about the about this racing car. Yeah. And uh, you know, so we've got these different levels, haven't we? There's modern wealthy, there's launch pad, and then there are coaching programs. Yeah. And do you want to do you want to do you want to use that analogy again? Because I think that makes it, it makes it very easy to understand. Yeah. I'm 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 very basic. I'm a visual person. So if I if someone can't describe something to me visually, <laughs> which is why I need this one to one coaching, then I just, it just just goes off my head, over my head. It's too technical. So the analogy I give people is that you know we're here to learn one skill. Okay. Yes, you're going to learn website building, funnel building, all this technical stuff if you want, or you can outsource it and get people to do it for you if you you know if you want to do that. Um, but the one skill you're going to come away from this community and this training platform with is the skill of online marketing. It's life changing. The ability to um, attract hundreds of thousands of people from all around the world to your website or someone else's website. And they be the right type of people that are likely to buy the products and services that you're promoting and getting paid for. And. The analogy I like to give is, you know, let's say that skill is race driving. You know, you're going to win races. You want to be a race driver. The only way you're going to get paid is to win races. You need that skill. And you invest uh, with Morgan in a race car. And they send you in your garage boxes and boxes of all the parts you need to build your Morgan, your kit car. And you've, you're quite excited and you think, right, I'm going to get into this. And you start building your kit car. And then you've, you get to the electrical part and you think, I'm not going to be able to do this. And then you think, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to hire a mechanic to dial in on a Zoom call every week, and he's going to show me how to do the electrical stuff. So you pay for your, you know, your, you know, your, your upgrade, your sort of one-to-one -one mentoring, and then you decide that's not enough, and that you need to be able to share your experiences with others. So you want the group coaching. So you end up getting some group coaching to help build your Morgan race car. And then at some point, if you're like me, you just completely give up and think, you know what? I can't handle this technology stuff at all. It's just too difficult. I want to go racing now. I've got a time limit. I had a time limit, a finite amount of time to earn that money. And it's like, you know what, guys? Take those boxes, take them back to the factory, build the bloody car for me, deliver it highly tuned. I want to go racing tomorrow. So there is a, you know, there is a dodging the learning phase, which I'm very good at all my life and there's also a time to market phase you know I want I want to learn that skill that's why I'm here I don't really want to learn how to fit steering wheels how to do the electrics and how how this thing works I just want to drive it yeah 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 you don't need to know how a car works to drive it do no. you absolutely no yeah no. but some people are mechanical yeah. I know I know I, I talked to people and I did get you know, I did some stuff for a little while and I got an awful amount of satisfaction from doing it, you know, building my first website. It was awful, <laughs> but I did it and it was up and it was online and, you know, I was out there. And you, you were know. proud. And I was proud. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I realised it was absolutely cack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, uh, I had to get someone to completely rebuild it for me. But I did it, you know, it did give me a big sense of achievement. But I also knew I wasn't here to learn to build websites. I didn't want to go off as a career, look, building people's websites. Mm. Awful idea for me anyway, because I'm not technical. I was here to learn online marketing. I had, I had sales skills for my entire corporate career, and I learned very quickly that sales skills are not marketing skills. They're the other side of the coin. They're completely opposite. Sales, you're chasing people to flog them something, usually one-on-one -on -one or one-on-many. One -on and marketing, you, create, you, you put all the work in up front, you create something that is highly attractive, and people chase you to buy this stuff from yeah, you. Yeah, you're a magnet rather mm. than this sort of hunter. That's aren't right. You? Yeah, that's absolutely. right. And a lot of people have this all sell, the word selling online has the word selling in it. And I don't want to be a salesperson. It has a sort of dirty word, a dirty. And, you know, and I thought my sales skills were going to be an attribute to me if I sold stuff online. They were a hindrance. It really, yeah, it, it really stopped me progressing for months before I realized. Mike, those skills are redundant. You need to learn marketing skills and then you know, invest in my marketing uh, education, which I did. And that's when the light bulb started to turn on. That's when things really started to happen and my, you know, my income yeah, yeah. went through the roof. So yeah, so getting getting back to the coaching, I think well, obviously you know we learn we learn from other people that have gone before us, don't we? Yeah. And Isaac Newton, I think, coined the phrase "We stand on the shoulders of giants." You know, there's there there you know there are, we can learn from books, we can go to 
we, you know, we can jump on Zoom calls. We can sort of learn remotely these days on the internet. Yeah. Um, there, there are there are group coaching programs. There are one to one coaching programs, and I think. At, at, at the very highest level, if we're being coached by experts that have actually gone down this path before us successfully, yeah. then there probably is no faster, quicker, shorter shortcuts. Um, I, I realise it's not for everybody, mm. but it's nothing to be... Um, looking back, although I was very nervous about investing in myself, because I spent something, or invested rather, something like $17,000. Yeah. In, in in one hit in yep. my education it, it costs a lot less now i think the value is far greater yeah um these days with the launch you programs but uh that that was a that was a big chunk of money for me but yep. i could see that my savings were evaporating and that and that i wasn't earning enough money in in my work as a mm. furniture maker and that one day what was going to happen was one day the money was going to run out yeah and I was going to be old and broke and, yep. you know, left. And the other, uh, the other way of looking at it as well is any bit type of business you start, you know, even if you wanted to start a woodwork business, you know, you've got to buy a lathe, you've got to buy loads of tools and equipment. I would say it was probably tens of thousands of pounds worth of equipment and you still don't have a skill. You know, now you've got to learn how to actually make something that yes. people are going to buy just because you've got the right tools. Very similar to online business, you know, you, you can build, you know, buy a nice laptop and buy all this fancy technology, cameras, lights, microphones, whatever it is you need to, to run your online business. But if you don't learn that skill of online marketing, which is what we're here to learn, the one skill we're here to learn, any business you build, whether you're doing selling physical products, whether you're selling training, whether you're selling your own stuff, somebody else's stuff, e-commerce, whatever it is, it will fail, yeah, because... There's that film, isn't there? Um, um, Field of Dreams. Build it, they will come. Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> no. Oh, no, they won't. I assure you, they won't come. Only by accident. Um, the skill of online marketing is attracting the right type of people to your offering online. Um, and if you can learn that skill, which is what this community is about, this training platform is about, then you're made for life. You could do any type of online business. Without that skill, any type of online business you try will fail. It's as simple as that. Um, if you're going to set up a physical business, you know, um, you know, like a woodwork, you have to invest ten, many, many thousands of pounds. An online business is a fraction of that cost. You know, even the money you invested, there's no way you could set up being a professional woodworker for 17 grand. Ain't going to happen. There's no way you could set up a sweet shop in the high street for anything under 117 grand. It just isn't going to happen. And people get so worried about, you know, investing in a business, and it is a business. Um, when if they actually sat down with a piece of paper and worked out what else can I do in the real world and worked out what that would actually cost them to get it off of the ground uh, and the risks involved, yeah, a, a, my, minuscule compared to taking this training, these steps one by one and, and, and starting to earn some money relatively quickly within months. It would take you many, many months to set up a sweet shop, get it decorated, kit it out, buy the stock, train the staff. Yeah, it's just no comparison. You can be earning money within weeks, even days, but I would say weeks realistically uh, from an online business. Very few physical businesses you can be up and running for such a small cost in such a small amount of time. Yeah. So one of, one of the questions I'm asked um, from a lot of my brand new members, people that usually come in at what we call uh, modern wealthy. So they've come in for the introductory training. They've had their eyes open to what's available online. Hopefully they've had sleepless nights like me and like you. It's like, wow, I didn't realize that you can't just sell widgets online. You can sell other people's stuff. You can sell anything online and you can learn how to do it. And, and more importantly, not sell. <laughs> um, but um, when, they, when you're at that phase, what's the next phase? You know, where, where, where do they go from there? They're excited. They've made this whopping investment of $37. <laughs> what's yes. next? Yes. Yeah, $37 is a little bit shy of 30 GB pounds, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, let's let's consider the Modern Wealthy program as a obviously a low cost, you know, dip your toe High exercise. Enough. Yeah. And it, it's 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 what you have to do to get a business up and running online. It's like being given a pile of textbooks. Okay, you've got all the information there, um, but you're going to have to figure out stuff. On your own yeah all right it's a, it's a low cost taster program yeah 
the, 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 the next step is if this is something that you want to pursue, then there's the Launchpad, which is a guided program, okay? And Launchpad gives you everything that you need. So let me just go through that. There are six modules with 10 lessons within each module. They're all on, all the lessons are on video. Yeah. And un underneath each of the videos, in the, in the dashboard, in the interface where you access the videos, there are action steps and reference links, okay? So there's, there's work to do. You'll be given a study guide for each of the six modules. It's a workbook. You can either keep it digitally and complete it, or you can print it off and go old school. Um, and this, Stuart calls this experiential learning. You're not just going to be learning a thing intellectually. You're going to be put to work. There are going to be practical exercises to do, and you're going to build your first online business. You're actually going to, at the end of the 60 lessons, you're going to have a business ready for launch. Mm -hmm. As far-fetched or as, as much of a stretch as that may seem, you will have a business. And that business will be in alignment with your skills, the way you want to spend your days, you know, what lights you up. Okay? Okay. Because there's going to be a little bit of a, a self-discovery process in Module 2. And the idea is this isn't just about the money. Yep. Right? It has to be something that's sustainable. It's got to be some, it needs to be something that your heart is in. Yep. All right. So in addition to the lessons, there are now additional resources that you can dive off into to get more specialized knowledge. There's LinkedIn Learning, there are mini courses. There's a training calendar where there are live calls on a daily basis with experts. And should you come to a point where you're stuck or you need to ask a question, you can jump on a call with an yep. expert on Zoom. We can share screen. You know, you can get unstuck. These guys can help you yep. keep keep the wheels turning. Um, what else is there? There's support. There's tech support. Um, I was going to ask you why, why, you know, once you made your initial investment into Launchpad, which I think is under two hundred dollars, you know, what, um, why do you have to then pay ninety nine dollars per month ongoing after that? Yeah. What's, what's that for? Well, that's that that, that, that's a, that's access to the um, to the to the experts on the live calls. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, let's be real for a minute. Profit is essential for any business yep okay you, you you know you can't run a business at a loss for long it's just an expensive liability all right yeah well, you know bus businesses have to make a profit in order to continue to serve their yeah their, their, their clients but otherwise they can't add value okay. to anybody yeah. yep so so launch you as a business and it needs to it obviously it needs to function profitably in yep. order to continue to serve its mem membership. Okay. But being really selfish, yeah. what do the members get, like you and I and, and, and you know, uh, um, new members coming in, what do they get for their $99 Dollars. per month? You know, what, what, is it, what is it actually funding? Um, I know it funds technical support. There's a big technical support team. Obviously, it funds the creation of the training and the ongoing updating of the training because... The, the outside world there carries on moving on so the training needs constantly updating and refreshing. Um, it obviously funds all the technology that supports the training platforms, the support team, probably funds the community as well and, the, and you know, enabling the community to, to talk to each other and meet up in wonderful places like this every now and again, uh, like you and I are doing. Um, so, yeah, for ninety nine dollars, you know, I, I normally tell my students that you know, you obviously got your web website hosting. If yes. If yes. You obviously will end up building a website at some you're, point. You're given you're given a website, aren't you? Actually, yeah, yeah. you're given a template which you have to edit. Yeah. But, it uh, includes online tools, integration tools to email autoresponders and stuff that most people probably listening won't even understand what they are. Don't need to worry. But it gives you a suite of automated tools so you can have a website that can attract customers, um, monetize those customers and serve them and look after them by with automated processes so you can do what we're doing which is travel the world enjoy the sun while our businesses are, are carrying on ticking on in the background it gives you a business opportunity as well how so there's actually an affiliate opportunity this is not yep. an, a, this is not obligatory by any stretch this is not mlm or network marketing or anything like that um, but for the people that are coming into the training program that perhaps don't have their own idea or their own product or their own service 
they can tap into. I mean, this this education has changed my life. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm free. I'm free. I'm financially free. I would say, and I've been able to actually redesign my days completely. And and because it's had this impact on my life, I choose to promote the education itself. And there's an there's an opportunity there to to earn, earn an income yep. from that. Okay. So yeah, there are many, many benefits, and yeah. to, and to be plugged into the community and people like yourself and the inner circle and various other um, members that I've met along the way in the various groups in the ninety day journey, yeah, I've I've created um, a kind of a family, mm -hmm. I suppose. Feel yeah. you know, I've got a network of of people now that I can physically meet, I can meet on Zoom, I can collaborate with, I can. Um, they can keep me accountable. We can brainstorm. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and, 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 I, and I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm happy to pay ninety nine bucks a month because I earn multiple yeah. ninety nine dollars a month, and it's just a drop. It's a pretty really. good return on investment, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Very good yeah, return yeah. on investment. Yeah, I know that was well, that was the one thing that really attracted me to you know um, the, this training program is that I came in and I I loved the idea of having an online business, but I didn't have anything to sell. And I spent a lot of time like trying to work out, you know, what is it I'm passionate about listening to Stuart, find something you're passionate about. And I went down all these rat holes, you know, uh, electric bikes, which I couldn't afford because they cost <laughs> thousands of pounds per unit and shipping them from China and all that complexity just was a non-starter. And, uh, and cannabis oil for medicinal purposes because I'd yes. fallen ill through the stress of my job and... And I was using cannabis oil and it worked wonderfully. And, but again, I knew nothing about it. I couldn't really get passionate about it. And it wasn't going to make, you know, make me skip out to the office in the garden every day. Um, and that having the ability to just say, OK, well, you're here to learn about online marketing. You're not here to learn all the other stuff if you don't want to, but you can do. Um, so to learn that skill, you know, promote any product. It doesn't really matter what product it is, but promote um, a product, you know, online education. Um, learn how to sell that product and then once you've got that first online business automated set up profitable now you can invest the time that you now have the money that you now have and invest it in another online business hopefully that's also highly automated it's not gonna you know encroach on your freedom um, so I just found it a wonderful model to, to learn that core competency of online marketing that skill which is transferable to anything online, probably transferable to other industries as well. But, you know, with with, with the world going AI and, you know, r robots taking overtaking manufacturing jobs has already happened a decade ago. And now AI is going to be taking over blue collar jobs, you know, teachers, solicitors, financiers, you know, whatever industry that they're in, you know, they need to start thinking about reskilling for a post apocalyptic, a post AI future because um there are a lot of jobs going to be going and um you know if you can't take full control over your destiny you know over your finances over your time then um they're going to be very choppy waters ahead i think that's my belief anyway yeah. yeah so so let's just go back to that analogy so modern wealthy is the boxes of the racing car turning yeah, up in your the garage car. yeah and you have to figure out how to put it together yep Okay, Launchpad is the video, are the video lessons, all right? So you're guided step by step through the process. Yeah. And then beyond the Launchpad, there are there are coaching programs, and there's this completely done for you program. Let's just talk about the. There are two coaching programs in particular. Mm -hmm. So you've got the the silver bundle and the gold, and the silver is all about group coaching. So you you will have access to experts that you can tap into, ask questions, share screen, yeah, etc. And this will obviously move you forward more swiftly, okay? Yep. Because you're you're able to tap into the knowledge of someone who's gone before you. Yep. And then the gold package, that's one to one, all right? And you get 24 calls over the course of a year with various experts within leadership of the company that you know know exactly what they're all about and how to get your business online and functioning effectively, okay? So and yeah, platinum, platinum yeah. is the done for you yeah, done service. Done for you, get branding. You get. I mean, you you can talk about that perhaps for a moment. Yeah. Um, well, that, that's that's what that's where I went. Again, not being technical and um, probably being lazy, if I'm honest. Um, always looking for a shortcut. Um, and you know, when I struggled through to get something off of the ground, 
which wasn't very pretty and wasn't very profitable, wasn't profitable at all. Um, I then made that commitment that, hey, this stuff works, you know, and wow, I can actually do this to a certain degree. How do I up my game? How do I become an A player? How do I, you know, ensure that I can create, you know, a long-term future, not just a bit of side income? And that's that's when I, you know, I decided to go, you know, it wasn't called Platinum back then, but anyway, um, I decided to go all in and invest everything and just get it, you know, as much done for me as I could and allow me to focus on this skill of online marketing. And if I could, you know, really, really hone this skill, the, the more proficient I became with online marketing, the skill, the more it would affect my online sales, my online, my online results, my income, you know, and it paid me back many, many times yeah. over. Yeah. Um, looking back, it was, it was quite scary because it, anything online to me was a little bit, you know, is it real? Um, but now I sort of laugh at my old self, you know, sort of doubting, worrying. I'm, mainly the doubts are about me. Um, but um, yeah, I've, I've earned that money back hundreds of times. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, those, those are the different tiers. Those are the different options that you have. But I think everybody's individual. You know, I think some people want to do it themselves. Um, some people don't mind putting in, the, you, know, you know, many, many months of time it would take to, to do it yourself. Other people are impatient or just don't have the skills, <laughs> like me, and want a shortcut. And obviously, um, you know, some people just don't have the assets to do that, which is fair enough as well. So, but everything is here, whatever camp you fall into, um, everything is here for you to succeed. You know, not just the step-by-step -step training, which is world-class, not just the community, which is absolutely key to tap into for help and support, the technical support, but then you've also got you know, you mentioned earlier on, you know, um, uh, I think you might have said it. If not, I'm going to say it. Following the, in the footsteps of people that have already gone before. Following, you know, if you follow in the footsteps of somebody who's gone before, your success is inevitable if you take action on what you're learning. Yeah. And then the only question left is, how long is it going to take me to actually get to whatever my view of success is, whatever my goals are? And that's down to you, you know, how fast you learn and, you know, and, 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 and embracing and actioning what you're learning from people that have gone before you. And that that's really, you know, what I focused on, you know, these, you know, these people that are you know, just months ahead of me, just a year ahead of me, they've already done it. They've already got to where I want to be. All I need to do is just to do what they did, you know, um, and uh, and I did. And, yeah, it's changed my life four years ago to where I am now in this wonderful place, <laughs> talking to you, yeah. Yeah, where's next, I wonder? I want to go back to Bali, and I can. You, know, <laughs> you can. So, so. <laughs> yeah. But isn't it wonderful being able to, you know, I remember having to beg and scrape and be beg for the boss to have time off. And it's like, oh no, someone else is taking time off. You can't take that time. And it's like, and I now look back and just think, what a load of shit. Do you have to ask for do permission I, Why to do take I have to beg, off? you know, for yeah. my, to take, to, to actually go and enjoy my life for a couple of weeks, a year? Um, it just seems so alien to me now. Why now I can just like, you know, like coming out here to meet you. It's like a whim. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Go. Drop everything and just come. And um, I think it's incredible. Yeah, there's one of the guys actually in the community, Patrick. He's a, um, he's a Dutch fella and he's got three kiddies, all under 10 years old. And just very recently he pulled his three, they're all boys, he pulled all three out of school and with his wife, they just went traveling yep. around the world. Yeah. Okay, so he's, he had his online business to the point where it was, it was, it was bringing him, him enough income in this kind of largely automated way and they were able to just actually take off and I think he rented out his house for a year and that was it, he was gone. And we, we, we kept in touch um, and every now and again he would be checking in from somewhere else. He went to Mexico and he went to Tenerife and just points around the globe. And I would say to him occasionally, where next? And he said, I don't know, but you know, we'll just figure that out yeah. when we get bored, when the time comes. Or what, you know, and they would almost make a decision on the spur, yeah. in the spur of the moment. And they would be off somewhere else. And this is what is that they've they've come back now. The eldest boy was feeling after around about a year, he was feeling the loss of his friends at school. And he yeah, wanted to come back, and yep. you know they they've come back and they've joined the real world again. But what a life experience! But, but this is yeah, mm. this is what's possible. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
And how and many people have, t I mean, there's, I, I can't think of the guy's name, but there's one of the communities, he's settled in Bali now, and he does, he makes little videos that pop up in the community from time to time. And yeah. Yeah, this is what people are doing. Margarita, Russian girl, when Putin went into Ukraine back in February last year, uh, she was about 300 kilometers from the border of okay. Ukraine yeah. and she immediately got on a plane. She couldn't fly into Europe because Russian passport holders were banned from Schengen. Yeah. But she immediately got on a plane to Dubai out of wherever, Moscow, I think mm -hmm. probably, and then flew to Brazil. And, and I think now she's, if she's not already there, she's considering moving back to Dubai yep. with her online business. She takes her laptop and yep. she goes. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and finally, I think the, the last thing I want to talk to you about is a lot of people, you know, um, they, they, they don't realize that learning these skills that they're going to learn here, they're future proofing themselves for obviously what's coming, um, AI and the, you know, the, the march of the Internet. Um, but those skills are highly sought after. You know, what, we, what we've learned, you know, um, in online marketing, traditional businesses, God help them, are, solely after people like this so you know even if you do want to work you know for a, a better company or just in a different function within a company if you get some comfort from having a job god forbid um then you know you are going to be highly sought after with real world digital skills proven you know that you can go out you, you can promote a product or a service whatever it is it's irrelevant um, and that you can, you know, you can make that work online by driving, you know, relevant traffic to websites. Um, businesses pay a fortune for that. You know, it's it's a, it's a it's a skill. And there, are, I believe, are certificates here where you can get, you know, education in real world marketing. Um, and I've heard about students here that have been in university for years getting online marketing degrees, and they come here and they do the online marketing courses here, completely blow away what they've learned at university. It's just what they've learned prior to this is irrelevant. This is real world stuff. It works. Yeah. It's proven to work. Yeah. You've only got to walk around the car park of any university and see what, car, <laughs> and see what cars the professors drive to realize yeah. this is not where you go to learn. There's, how to there's a really money. good point as well. You're learning from a professor that is not a multimillionaire that hasn't built successful online businesses about online marketing. And if he was really successful, the last thing he'll be doing is standing up in front of a university teaching people how to do online marketing. It's like, have you done this? No. Well, why should I sit here listening to you? Stuart, have you done this? Yes, several times. I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're in, a very, we're in a very fortunate place. We're very lucky. Um, we are living the laptop lifestyle. It, it's, um, it's, we're, I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. I'm so thankful I went down this route. I'm so thankful I invested in myself. And I, I'm thankful I get the opportunity to help other people open their eyes, take the plunge and encourage them to progress to where I am. Yeah, you, you, you spoke about you become more valuable. And mm. I think probably for me, it doesn't matter what the business is. It doesn't matter whether it's mobile phones or mountain bikes or you know yoga mats. It's, the, the, it's irrelevant what the business model is. The, yep. the question of whether that business is gonna win or fail yep. is a marketing question. How do we acquire mm. customers? How do we acquire clients? How do we how do we bring the business in? And this is why I believe it is the most valuable skill that you can acquire. 